Hi, this is Anointed Ministries, and our scripture for the day is Isaiah 53 and 5, which says, But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. And our praise song of the day is Jesus, He Will Fix It. Jesus, He Will Fix It. Okay? Um, let's see what we're doing now. Um, what are we going to do? What are we going to read for the day? Here's the songs that we listen to for the day. I'm sorry. Uh, number one, Something Good by William Murphy. Number two, We Wait For for You by William Murphy. Number three, God Will Take Care of You by Reverend James Moore. Number four, Lee Williams and Jesus Will Fix It After a While. Number five, Sweet Jesus by John P. Key. And what we'll have to read for today... For today, that's for tomorrow. For today, what we'll have to read <clears throat> for today is you'll write on your notebook, Second Kings, K I, period, because you'll abbreviate, chapter 10, verse 32, through chapter 12, semicolon, verse 21. And that is the, and read that in the evening. And then Acts chapter 18, semicolon, verse 1 through 22. And you'll read that in the afternoon. Psalms 145, semicolon, verse 1 through 21. And you'll read that in the morning. Proverbs 19, I mean 18, verse 1. And you'll read that in the morning. And our children's Bible story, we're supposed to have a question and answer. Um, I got to come back to you in a few minutes and I'll do that on the question and answer. But right now, I want you to start reading and taking notes and breaking down scriptures so that you can get to your calling. Your calling is waiting on you. God says you have a calling. And if you have a calling, you need to read and study God's word every day so you can grow up spiritually. God bless you and just know that we do love you. We love you. And I hope that you um, watch those two pastors. One pastor was Pastor Joseph Prince. He's in Singapore. And he uh, studies Hebrew and some other languages. So you might want to watch him. And the other pastor was Pastor Bill Winston. So I plan on visit, visiting both of their churches in the, time, in, the, in the near future. So... In the meanwhile, I hope you get a chance to watch some of it. And I hope it, it uh, copied over because I uh, I copied it. And so I hope you, it copied over right. And I'll be back so that we can do question and answer on the Jesus story. And that's for babies, children, toddlers, young adults, teenagers, uh, adults, and elderly adults. All of you have a calling somewhere in your life, and I hope that you make it to it. Whether you're a baby or a teenager or adult or elderly person or whatever, I hope you make it to your calling. So we'll come back, and we are going to start with, um, with Psalms and Proverbs this time. Last time we started with, uh, with Second Kings, but this time we're going to start with Psalms and Proverbs. So, God bless you until we get back. And, oh, may God, may God uh, lower the temperature. And bless, bless it to be breezy outside so we may be able to bear it because it's too hot. God said that we could ask him for anything. He'll give us the desire of our heart. And that's in uh, Psalm 37 and 8, I believe, that he will give us the desire of our heart. So, we desire for the temperature to go down and for it to be a little breezy, not not to, enough to, to cause a storm or a tornado, but just enough to keep us cool. In Jesus' name, 
Amen.